What's good guys, it is 27th of April and it's a Thursday and for today's daily market analysis we'll be looking at the Euro USD and the USD Yen. Uh, so <clears throat> as you know we were recently in a short trade with some of our members on the Euro USD. Uh, we entered around 927. Uh 1.0927. Uh, price pushed up past our entry before rejecting this um this uh major trend line we have here on the higher time frames. Uh, this channel that uh that the pair is in so reject rejected the trend line before making its way down and giving us some profits uh at this point around here we are around 50 percent uh 50 pips up and uh at this point at 50 pips up i moved my stops to uh 20 pips um the reason why i do this is because i have a habit if um if price is at the safe distance i will always move it up to 20 pips and you can also see the reason why i moved it up there because we have recent structure over here which could pos possibly be rejected if price went up however as you can see price let me just zoom it in for you you can see that price pushed up into our stop our stop loss which was about 20 pips before just consolidating uh consolidating in in the next few hours so this was a trade that we took. I will be reviewing this in the trade journal in the next video, but I just want to let you guys know that there's a potential opportunity that I want to take on this pair again. Um, I'm still looking to fill the gap here. Um, markets open with a gap, a huge gap here. Uh, on this chart, it doesn't show the gap, it just show candlesticks. But uh, if I were to show you Euro USD on uh, another chart, you can see that we have a big gap right here of about um, price open closed here and opened up here about 170 pips so i'm still looking for price to fill the gap right here I'll, i could put 10 i'm going to potentially look for a short entry if price manages to um show some show some um weakness in this uptrend uh let me just go back to the other chart if price can uh, possibly beat this area of uh structure right here uh if it doesn't show any more if it doesn't show any more support right here then i could potentially set a sell order right here a sell order right here and uh look look for an entry to the downside so if i were to take that away we could possibly have a sell stop right here and stops will go back down into the where gap the where the gap uh close started from and stop could possibly go above this uh, possibly lower because it has to give us uh, at least a one to one risk to reward ratio. So this is the analysis that that um it's on the Euro USD a potential short entry that could possibly if not reach this target it could potentially reach the bottom of the target which is about two hundred over pips. So this is something that I would be looking out for over the next few days and over next week. So this is the Euro USD on the four hour chart. The next chart we want to look at will be the USD yen. And as you can see on a daily time frame, we have a very, very nice area of structure. If I were to just draw a line for you right here, you can see that price has directed as support, support, support. We and price pushed down past the spot, reacting with this uh, where support has turned into resistance once, twice. And price, if I were to zoom in, you can see that price pushed up, had a bit of retracement. And where did it retrace to? It retraced back into our previous. Uh, resistance which turned into support we have support support and uh, price bro broke through here again before having resistance here so this could potentially be a decent area for entry and as you look if you look on the daily chart you can see that price made a push up forming a very nice doji candle right here so i could potentially i'll be, I'll be potentially looking for a short entry around this area in addition to that uh, i'm looking at fibonacci levels of different swings and if i were to zoom in for you on the four hour chart you can see that we have uh, two we have uh, two very nice swings we can look at uh, the first swing would be this one swing high to swing low and if we were to the fibonacci level of that fibonacci retracement swing high to swing low we potentially have a 50 percent retracement along our structure area let me just get rid of the rest of the levels so we have a 50% retracement over there in our lining up with our structure zone. The other level that I want to show you will be uh, if I zoom out on the daily time frame, you can see that we have a nice uh, swing right here. This swing high to this swing low. And if we were to take a retracement of that swing high to swing low, we potentially get a 382 lining up with that level. 
as you can see the 382 lines up very nicely on top of that um, previous 0 0.5 level so this gives us a zone a potential zone for entry on the four hour chart this could potentially be a zone for entry also known as a kill zone as you can see price came up into this zone right here uh, rejected with this uh, very bearish candle but I'm looking because I'm a conservative trader I'm looking for price to push up higher into this zone possibly hitting our 382 retracement and forming uh, a, a divergence in RSI we have uh, higher highs however price uh, RSI has made high, uh, lower highs so that means there is weakness in this uptrend right here suggesting that price might be ready for a push back into the 110 area uh, the, not the most notable resistance that we can see now will be this area right here. So targets could possibly be around here. Uh, if I were to place a trade like this for a limit, possibly higher because we are conservative traders. Uh, possibly at this at this structure high right here. Maybe slightly lower so we can get filled. We can have targets here and possibly stops can be 180R. Uh, and the ATR is used, it's called, ATR is called the average shoe range, it shows you the average shoe range of that certain time frame. So, in this time frame, the ATR is about, you can see that it's about 38 pips, so 1 ATR, a, a safe one would be 1.5 ATR, so 38 times 1.5 would give us about slightly less than 80, so it could be around here. Giving us a very nice risk to reward ratio, depending uh, if we get filled or not. So, this is something I will potentially be looking out for. Uh, and that is uh, USD yen potential short entry on the euro USD or a potential and a potential short entry on the USD yen. So this has been the analysis. Um, this has been analysis for today's daily market analysis. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'll be doing the trading journal after this, so do look out for that. Thanks guys, and I'll see you in the next video.